Pauline here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining and God bless you. Today I have a special message that I want to deliver to you concerning some things that the Lord revealed to me on the 20th of May 2020 about some major events that are about to take place in the world. So I'm going to share with you, so please stay tuned and God bless you. The first uh, thing that the Lord spoke to me about was a restoration. I saw a major restoration that was about to take place in the world after the COVID-19 was over. I saw God restoring the economies of the world. I saw God restoring the finances of people. I saw God restoring businesses, marriages, every area of, of people's lives. I saw restoration taking place. I saw the Lord leading us to Canaan where there is milk and honey and I saw that the COVID-19 was like a journey that the Israelites went through from Egypt through the Red Sea to the wilderness and finally they got to Canaan where they enjoyed milk and honey. So the Lord spoke to me as people go through this journey which is about to come to an home stretch is going to restore the lives of people. People will get everything that they have lost during this COVID-19 period concerning restoration that was about to take place in different places in the world, in different countries, to different people in the world. The second item that God spoke to me was about revival. I saw a mighty revival that was going to erupt in different parts of the world. To be specific, I saw the continents of Asia, I saw the continents of Africa, I also saw countries like Iran and Iraq where there was going to be a revival. I also saw countries that were predominantly occupied by Muslims going through this revival process because I saw God raising people, men and women of God in these nations who are going to preach the gospel. I also saw God sending people from different countries into these continents and into these uh, nations to preach the gospel. And the Lord talked to me about what happened uh, when the, during the colonial period, so when the missionaries traveled to Africa and other countries, they carried Bibles and they preached the gospel. So I saw God sending missionaries to these nations to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ because I heard the Lord saying that it's coming very soon and this message has to reach all the corners of the world. The Lord also spoke to me about raising giants in the spirit. I saw God raising giants in the spirit realm. I saw children who are born with unique gifts, unique talents, unique anointings, children and even men and women of God who could perform different miracles, who had powerful teaching gifts, powerful healing gifts. People could even uh, resurrect the dead, prophesy, teach the word, speak in powerful tongues. I saw giants that God was raising in the spirits, like an army that was prepared to take the gospel to different, different nations of the world. And I saw that these giants that the Lord was raising, they are different, they are people we have not seen. They are not the faces that we've gotten used to in the radio stations and in the TV stations in our countries. These are not people we are used to. I saw an entirely new breed that God was raising. And even as I'm speaking to you right now, I see an exit. I see an exit that is about to take place. I see some people are exiting while others are coming in. And the Lord is showing me that in this year 2020, we have seen different men of God who have passed on. We have Renard Bonke, who passed on a few months ago. We have Maurice Cerullo and we have others. I saw some of these people, they have been captains. The Lord is showing me that some of these people are captains, they are generals, and I see them exiting because they have already paved the way. They have already raised children, they have raised people in the spirit who can take over their footsteps. And I see that these people who are going to take over what these people started, I see they are going to be to have supernatural strength. 
supernatural power, supernatural capabilities to do some things that to do some things and perform some miracles that we've not even heard of. So as as the devil is also preparing to unleash his agents into the world to deceive people, I see the Lord sharpening his people in secret. I see even children that the Lord is sharpening and that God is going to use to win more souls to the world. So there's something like a a movement that is taking place where the some of the generals are exiting while others are coming in because they see some of these generals that have gone like Reynard Bonke, Maurice Cerullo, they have already prepared people to take over the works that they started and they are going to be more powerful. The people, the children who have been prepared, they are going to be more powerful. They are going to do mighty works that have not been seen in such a long time since the days of Paul and the days of the Apostles. So that is also something that the Lord spoke to me about, giants in the spirit. And as the Lord raises these giants in the spirit, I also see the Lord raising a new breed of leaders who are going to implement policies that are going to favor believers, who are going to come up with policies that are going to make it easy for the gospel of, of Christ to be spread to different parts of the world. God is raising leaders who are going even to finance the work of the ministry. Leaders who are going to support uh, building up of churches, setting up of uh, homeless uh, centers for the homeless people, NGOs, feeding the poor. People who are going to stand together with the church and implement some things that are going to favor the people of God. So that is what I see the Lord doing in different nations, in different countries. There are places that it has started happening already. You see people are electing leaders who have so much interest and so much love for God. And these people are favoring Christians. They are coming up with policies, even with the COVID-19 policies that favor the spread of the gospel. So this is all in the doing of the Lord. This is all in the major plan of the Lord to bring revival into the world as you prepare for the rapture that is about to take place very soon. Amen. Amen. I also saw exchange of power. I saw God raising some countries to become superpowers. There are countries that we, we all know as superpowers of the world, countries like the US, countries like China, but I see God raising other countries that are not even popular to be superpowers. I see God giving them uh, a voice in areas like the manufacturing sector, the agricultural sector, the, the, we have the tourism sector. I see God raising countries that we've not gotten used to hearing about. I see God raising them to be superpowers by giving giving them unique resources, unique abilities to do things, even in the clothing industry, in different, different sectors, so that there can be more nations, so that there can be more countries who are able to finance the work of the kingdom. And all these things that the Lord is, is showing us are all with, with an aim to fulfill the revival to make it easy for the revival to take place before the rapture happens. The Lord also spoke to me about major shifts in the climate. I saw massive climatic changes that were about to take place in the world. Some have started taking place already, others are yet to take place. I saw the ice in the Arctic and the Antarctic melting. I saw hurricanes, I saw landslides. I saw buildings collapsing, I saw earthquakes, different things that were going to take place and cause torment and cause an outcry in the people of the world. And uh, as, as I'm talking to you, these are things I've been praying that God will avert some of these disasters. Because I saw there is going to be uh, so much global warming that it is going to cause flooding in different countries, it is going to cause droughts, 
in different countries it is going to cause hurricanes because i saw the sea the ocean was rolling and as it was rolling i saw it was swallowing up everything i saw rivers breaking bats ocean swallowing up buildings and everything that was near it i saw some spirits like some demons in the oceans that were preparing and strategizing how to shift the climates of the world, how to bring a change in the climates of the world so that there can be confusion for countries that are, and do agriculture, it will affect them because they have gotten used to certain climatical conditions and they use the climate to know when to plant and when to harvest. But when these climatical changes start happening, it's going to bring a confusion. I saw the Lord open my eyes and I saw these things that were happening, major shifts in the climate of the world. But we are praying, please continue praying with me, that God, God will, will avert some of these disasters in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord also showed me major landslide that will collapse major buildings in the world. I saw the earth opening up and there was a major landslide, earthquakes that hit big buildings in some major countries and these buildings collapsed. The Lord also opened my eyes and I saw the collapse of a major world leader. I saw the collapse of a major world leader and I saw that this leader was somehow connected and spearheading the new world order. The new world order. I saw the collapse of a major world leader. A leader who is a citizen of a major country, of a famous country in the world. I saw him collapsing. The Lord also opened my eyes and I saw the rainbow movement in the U.S. collapsing. I saw the rainbow movement that was deceiving a lot of youthful people. And I saw the devil is strategizing to spread the rainbow movement to different nations of the, of the world, including Africa. But I saw God bringing this movement to a, a stop. To a standstill, I saw this movement collapsing. The movement that supports and advocates for the rights of the lesbians, the gay, the, the bisexual, and the transgender people, I saw it collapsing. Of course, I talked about the cry in Asia for revival, it's about to take place in the countries of India and also Pakistan and other countries, there is going to be a cry for revival. I also saw a toxic chemical that was released in the atmosphere of a certain nation. And this toxic chemical, it, as people inhaled it, I saw it had adverse effects on the chests of people, it brought complications on the chest of people, in the eyes, on the ears. It also caused a pregnant women to give birth to deformed babies. It caused miscarriages to take place and it is something that we take quite some time before people can realize the effects of what is happening. A toxic chemical that was released in the atmosphere and it is going to bring serious health complications. But we are praying, we are praying that the will of God concerning his people is going to be fulfilled. And we also pray that God will avert some of these disasters so that his people can be able to praise him, to pray and to worship without any restrictions and without any limitations. So please continue praying with me about these things. Share the message to as many people as possible, your friends, your family members. Let this message go out so that people can know the things that are about to happen in the world, the events that are about to take place in the world, because God has already revealed them to us. So it is our duty to make sure that this these uh, things that the Lord has revealed reach as many people as possible. I want to thank you for tuning in for your time. God bless you so much. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do, do so. And also click on the notification button so that you can be notified anytime I come on or anytime I upload a video. 
God bless you and I love you all so much.